Pyraking Studio. I got a microwave. My friend said it won't heat up, but the light and the glass plate are normal. But it won't heat up. What's going on? He saw that mechanical microwave oven are more durable, so he bought this one. Let's test this microwave first, because I don't fully understand the condition of this microwave. Let's test it before deciding how to do it. Oh, coldly. The result of the test just now show that it really cannot hit water in the cup, but the appearance seems normal. This knob, there is something wrong with this knob. Quick. This one is also quick. Let's check the internal situation to see if it can be handled together. The microwave plate is pulled away first. This one seems to be not easy to buy. Then we open the outer cover of the microwave oven. Start drive screws again. I really don't like this. Fortunately, I have already prepared. I have used this one for more than 10 years. Let's take down its case now. Do you see this green trademark? Glance. The sense is imported. So no more brand mess. The problem with this one is the microwave cannot be output. So we just need to check the microwave system. Let's first measure whether the fuse is burnt off. The fuse is work. Measuring the capacity of the high voltage capacitor. Test whether the diode is warm. The diode is warm. Now check the magnetron. Confirm whether there is an open circuit. The circuit is good. Check if the cat's light to ground show circuit. There is no show circuit phenomenon. So the magnetron is work. Then we check if there is voltage input at the primary of the transformer. The voltage to ground is zero, so the electricity do not come in. And the four point is in the front control circuit. There are two micro switch and tire switch on the front. Close the outdoor of the microwave oven and turn the tire knob. These switches should all be on. Mm, remember to unplug the microwave oven. The multimeter has switched to the buzzer. It is good if you hear the buzzer. What? You want to see my meter? 
Okay, wait a minute. You look. Okay, right? Let's measure the timer now. Come on, millimeter, stay here and don't move. The brake probe is already plugged into the micro switch. On. Still on. On. And here is not working. The temperature control section of this timer is broken. It's broken here. This temperature and timing switch can actually be repaired. But I suggest you change it directly. Why? I'll open it to you. There are only four screws. I don't want to faster forward. I think someone will want to take it apart. Now the holder can be removed. Then there is the last screw and the hidden button. You'd better be lighter in next moment, otherwise the gears inside will fall. More than half of people can't put it back after opening it. You have to pay attention. There are two brake tears on the white cast. What do this tell you? The contacts point are broken. If you send this press with the same paper, it can continue to be used, but never do it. Now the copper sheet here is touching the copper sheet. This is the main point of the failure today. This platinum contact is okay, but it won't work like this. After it's packing this microwave oven, we found that its timer switch was faulty. It takes a long time to wait for repair parts. Some people just need to pad the table and repair part will come out. Eh? I will too. Try to see if it works. Don't ask where I bought it from. It was bought online anyway. But when you use this kind of package, I feel a little overwhelmed. It also has antibacterial and anti-odor functions. I don't know if it's better for heating lunch. Let's replace this switch now. Just like this, unplug it and plug it in, then lock it up. Of course, you still have to check if there are other problems. Let's lock the four screws. The button of these knobs had cracked, but if we replace it with a new one, there may be a filling out of the press. I try to fix it now. If it can be used, continue to use it. Environmental protection to save the earth. Before fixing the knob, 
Let's assemble the cast. This old timer switch. Throw it in the trash can. Repairing this cracked knob is not difficult. We use cyanide acrylate to fix it at first. This is only slightly fixed. There is no way to use it directly. The second step is to use epoxy epic glue to find a wooden stick and apply a thick layer of epic glue on the outside of the knob. Because this is for structural reinforcement, it must have a certain thickness. Not every glue on the two knobs has been completely hardened. We put it on now. This microwave oven is complete and ready for testing. Come on, let's install it now. Here we go. Oh, very strong as new. Awesome, it is really great. Let's heat up this cup of water and try to see if it is work. Alright, it's turned to my head dizzy. Oh, it's smoking. Look. Also, we succeed again. Tries will succeed. If you have no time to try, subscribing to Pirating Studio can also improve your repair ability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. See you next time.